All right, today we're going to find equivalent fractions. So on your tablets, I want you to write this fraction. And we're going to find an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 12. Okay, and this is how we're going to set it up to find an equivalent fraction. We've got to multiply this by a fraction equivalent to 1 to get a denominator of 12. Okay, now what number can I multiply 3 by to get 12? 4. four. But if I'm multiplying the denominator by 4, that means the entire fraction has to be what? 4, four. four fourths. What is 4 fourths equivalent to? One whole. one whole. Okay, the reason that we multiply by a fraction equivalent to one whole is I don't want to change the value of two thirds. I just want to change the size of the pieces. Okay, so 3 times 4 is 12. What is 2 times 4? Eight. 8. So we can say that 8 twelfths is equivalent to 2 thirds, and I can prove that by using fraction strips. So I have 2 thirds, and I'm going to put up twelfths to show the equivalence of 2 thirds and 8 twelfths. Using these twelfth pieces, I can see that 1 third is equivalent to how many twelfths? 4 twelfths. So 2 thirds should be equivalent to how many twelfths? 8 twelfths. Okay? So we, we can use a set or an area model. This is fraction strips. But I can also use a number line. So I'm going to make a number line from zero to one whole, and I'm going to divide it into thirds. There's one third, and there's two thirds. Okay, then I'm going to make a, the same size number line, but this one I'm going to divide into how many parts? Twelfths. So I'm going to hit my thirds first. How many twelfths are in one third, did we say? Four. four. One, two, three, four. So this is four twelfths. Five, six, seven. This is eight twelfths. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is twelve twelfths. So can you see that two thirds falls at the same place that eight twelfths falls on? Yeah. So those two fractions are equivalent. 